say that um, I have something of a, of a soft spot for Llangadog because um, I was born actually just the other side of the mountain there in Bryn Ammon and as a, as a small boy, and as you can imagine this is many many years ago now um, uh, my parents used to bring me down to the common here in Llangadog and on a Sunday afternoon we'd have a nice little picnic and I'd be paddling in the river tickling for foot trout and I can recall one particular Sunday afternoon I caught a, a nice pound and a half brownie just underneath this very bridge I didn't have a rod and line by the way, but there we are, that's another story. Um, in 2008, we had to put a 7.5 ton weight restriction on this bridge because of the, uh, the, the malfunction of the, uh, of the structure. And uh, it's taken until now for us to get to where we are today, six years later. And part of the reason for that, of course, is that we had to find some money uh, to pay for, the, uh, for the, uh, the upgrade of the bridge. And one of the people that I have to thank is the, uh, the Welsh Government because we, uh, we had four and a half million pounds in that particular year and half a million of that went on refurbishing this bridge. So it's something that um, we've all been looking forward to and can I thank you for all your patience. Uh, I know you've been put out because of the, the uh, diversion, the six mile diversion, but I hope you agree that it's been worth it uh, after all this time. I would also like to thank your county councillor, Andrew James, who has been acting as our unofficial liaison officer for the county council. And I think I've been having more emails off from Andrew in one week than I have with the rest of the council in the whole of the month. But he's been doing a grand job. And uh, I know that Andrew is very proud to be representing you as a community in Thangado. And I can say personally to you that he is doing an excellent job. So, dear Andrew. Thank you. I'd also like to thank, I'd also like to thank uh, we have a major contractor and we have uh, David here with us who is one of the directors of TRJ and as you, as, uh, as you can all see he's done yet another grand job on this bridge and I'd expect nothing less from uh, a local firm such as uh, TRJ. They employ local people and of course the money goes back into the lo local economy. As opposed to some other contractors, and the money all goes down the M4. So, the DFO is done with the MFI for the name, he's done an outstanding job here yet again. And this contract, I have to say, came delivered on the money and on time as well. So, DFO, thank you very much for you. So, once again, I can, uh, I can only thank you for, for your patience and um, it has been a long time coming, but as you can probably appreciate, uh, things are very tight in, lo in local government at this moment in time. Andrew was at the budget meeting with me yesterday, where as far as the highway budget is concerned, 10 million has been knocked off my budget for the next three years. This is how serious things are. And um, this contract, as well as the one that I've been doing for us up in Randall Boyne, uh, building another new bridge for, for us there, is probably one of the last major contracts that we'll be uh, on the tech services side that we have for the next few years. Because again of the cuts in, in local government. So this, um, this contract was awarded as far as I'm concerned at the right time, we finished it at the right time, because I don't know where, you know, money is going to come from for the other bridges that we've got to maintain. I have got, at the moment, some £14 million pounds worth of repairs backlog on the bridges in Carnarvon. On the highway side, I've got a repairs backlog, would you believe it? That's where we are at this moment in time. So I'm very pleased that this contract has been delivered, as I said, on time. So thank you all very much indeed. Thank you for coming here this afternoon and help celebrate the opening, the reopening of the South End Bridge. And can I ask whoever now is going to cut the ribbon for us? Yes. Helen by and here. Hailwen, Hailwen, sorry. But right. before Hailwen uh, does uh, <coughs> cut uh, the, the ribbon, can I ask on the Reverend Cottam uh, to say a few words and maybe give a blessing uh, for the bridge and the safe crossing to everyone as pedestrians or uh, in vehicles. I think that would be quite appropriate. Reverend Cottam. Thank you, Councillor Jones. Thank you very much indeed. A very good personal note for me because uh, 116 years ago, my cousin, Mrs. Vincent Peel, opened this bridge. It was built in five and a half months. 
at the cost of £2,250 <laughs> at that time. Uh, the Ford was over there, and uh, sorry, the Ford was here, and there was a footbridge over there connecting these two lovely communities. And when there is connection that's severed in the community, it affects all of us. So we rejoice today when that connection has been re-established. I would like to thank all of you for your patience uh, on the other side there and it has been shall we say a diverting experience for all of you which is for sure but thank you very much indeed for those and i think that yes we will thank god um for not just rejoining us but for this tremendous sense of community that we have divided by this lovely river now once again joined Gogoni and Tirtad, Akirmad, Akirasprigan. Thank you very much and I offer a blessing on behalf of God to all who then travel cross on their daily uh, duties and to see each other and to re-establish what was once for only a time just separated. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this guy. Jeff, 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 Jeff,